Hey guys, and welcome back to a Glitch in the System. When we last left off, we had to destroy the comms arrays, which I was pretty sure we were going to do in the last mission, but apparently that was just getting into the complex, which is fine, I guess. Now, I do like this mission. Space station. If I were you, you could damage your precious gateway power chip. Hmm. Space station. No. Okay. Well, let's get going, shall we? But before we do too much, I like all these missiles being mass produced. Let's start blowing this place up because, hey. We don't want these assholes having any of this gear, do we? Now, sometimes you actually get... Oh, wow. We actually took quite a bit of damage there. Sometimes you get uh, stuff for destroying these. And some... Oh, look. There you go. Golden washer. And sometimes you just, like, don't. I don't really know how it figures that out. But, hey. Okay. Well, all I do know is when we go outside... Oh... Hell is going to break loose, but before hell breaks loose, let's do a little bit of preemptive damage ourselves, shall we? Okay. Hello. Evening. I am at my post. The hell are you talking about? Uh, this is my operation number, Dick. Okay. Now let's try and take out this Titan, or at least do a little bit of damage to it. Before we die. Yes, there we go. Here's my fucking operation number. That's how we do it. In Droid Town. Not bad, not bad. Any mission where you get to operate this tank is a good day. Or should I say is a good mission? Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Never actually managed to do that in one go before. Without getting uh, this dude destroyed. Okay, well, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, now, how do we? Can we open that gate? Or do we need to fondle something? Actually, we might need to get close to it. That might be the rub. Let's have a little look. Come on, fool. Let's go have a look. See what we can do here. Okay. Maybe we need to get close to it. I didn't think there was any kind of button that we needed to push. Curious. Okay. Well, let's get back in this tub and go deliver it to Glitch. And then we can nuke ourselves back into orbit, I suppose. There's lots of ammo and gear and gubbins and equipment here, which is nice. God damn it. I think that grenade... Yeah, the grenade recharges, which is cool. So we can continuously hop grenades at ourselves. See, if we hold to exit, I don't th think that actually destroys the robot. Let's go have a little look, though. Last thing we want is to keep a few robots around. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Okay, so we take control of him, but it doesn't actually destroy him. Curious. Let's go harvest up all of this gear. So, sounds like they have a space station, eh? Intriguing. Looks like we're pretty much topped off on most of the gubbins here. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, pretty sure um, we should get that door automatically opening as we get close to it. But, hey, what do I know? It's not like we've been here before, is it, Glitchy Boy? Let's have a... Ah, yeah, you see? There we go. So it doesn't open for our traitorous friend. Only Glitch has the magic touch, I guess. I was genuinely confused by that bit then. Oh boy, all hell breaks loose in here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Flavor Country. 
Ah, oh, man, we're taking some serious knocks. Right, let's get back. Oh, God, the Titan's following us. Of course the Titan's following us. Why wouldn't the Titan be following us? And we need to go. We need to go. We need to go. We're taking way too much damage. Uh, ooh, son of a bitch. Okay. Oh, yeah, of course. Doesn't really matter because there's a uh, handy checkpoint there. Right, let's go harvest up all the goodies. I like the fact that uh, everything that's on the floor actually stays here too. Now, there is a shop that we can visit. We have Pockets and Shady behind that big machine there. But we're going to forget about that for now. Let's just go grab up all this stuff. All right. That's a little bit better. That's better. Right, let's go shred these guys. Now, one of the biggest problems around here is all these bloody aerial units. But that's okay. We have the correct equipment. Right, you're toast. Come to Papa. Oh. Oh. That stung. Is there another? Yeah, there is another Titan there. Okay, that's fine. Let's give him hell. See if we can remove his legs. Well, we've removed him from existence. I mean, that's a kind of similar thing, I suppose. Let him have every fucking inch that we have. There we go. All right. Actually, not too bad, I guess. Oh, there's another tank there. <laughs> I think we just cleared the tank. Not sure. Are you good? Yeah, he's had enough. He's had enough. I'm sure there's another shit stain up here somewhere. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Well, that's enough carnage for now. Let's go have a little look at pockets. And hopefully get some more health as well. Definitely took a knock or two there. But to be expected, I guess. Aha. Yeah. Now, it's kind of interesting that we've spent all this time in the game so far just trying to track this dude down. And we're like 14 missions into the game and we still haven't tracked and stopped this guy yet. Kind of crazy when you think about it. This is quite a long game. Hey. Alright guys, what have you got for me today? What indeed do you have for me today? Uh, oh, level 3 spew. Hmm. Yes, yes. Very droll. Now. You know what? Uh, I don't think I will. Uh, you know what? Let's go for the speed upgrade. Yeah, because the level three, uh, the level three spew is just awesome. It's such a good weapon. The only uh, problem with it is it does run dry pretty quick. The elite spew has been completely redesigned to yield superior accuracy and damage. So yeah, it's a Gatling gun now, and it's a terrifying Gatling gun. They say it's more accurate, and maybe it is. It's not that much more accurate, but. I guess every little helps, right? Now, let's go. Unfortunately, that did cost us pretty much all of our cash, but hey. I suppose there's no point taking all this dosh with us, is there? Now, I wouldn't mind to get the uh, uh, max level rocket launcher, but that's probably going to be quite a while yet. Ooh, you hocked a grenade at me, you naughty little sausage. There we go. Yeah, max level spew is just disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I approve. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, you little sausage. Oh, no, 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 sir. No. Bad. You cheeky, dirty bastard. Look at the ball bearings on that guy. 
I totally forgot they can do stuff like that. They're not as stupid as they look. Seriously. They are they are creatures of opportunity, that's for sure. Okay, well, we've got a secret chip up here. Uh, what else have we got? I think there's a few little bits and pieces actually hidden around here. Oh, we've got some more washers. Yes, please. Hey! Hey! You keep away from that tank, boy. Okay. That could have been a little bit dodgier um, than it actually was. Look at that sly little snake walking around. Okay, so there's the radar. Ooh, radar systems. Right, let's introduce them to our new upgraded spew gun. Oh, it's just so powerfully raw. I like it. And there's another secret ship up and around here. Uh, oh, some rivet guns too. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I can't really remember what, at this point what the upgraded uh, rivet gun actually does. Because obviously once we've upgraded it once, we do get that lovely little explosive ability of it. Um, but the third level, I'm not too sure. Okay, I think this area is just about pacified. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Now. Oh. Oh, hello. Found your ball bearings, did you? Well, I won't help you now. Not with glitch around. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we've got... Uh. What the... Oh, you... Douche. Oh, you douche. Oh, you douche. Ah, oh, come on. Very difficult to actually uh, aim those grenades. At least I find it difficult to aim these grenades. Very hard to get the angle just right. Ah. Oh. We're probably just going to get ourselves killed, to be honest, doing this. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just kick the front door in. And, uh,. Cash some checks. Ooh. There's no subtlety around here, friend. Yeah, you better shit yourself, dude. Okay, not bad. Looks pretty empty in here now. Pretty sure there's still one guy left. Yeah, you. The guy we was trying to throw nades at. That'll do, Glitchy. That'll do nicely. Don't trust leaving anything explosive around here. No. That is a recipe for disaster. So what's up here then? Any goodies? Uh, oh, yeah, not bad. We'll have that. Definitely have that bad boy. Right, let's nuke this place. Definitely want to stand back from this. Glitch, you're not listening to me. That should do it. Oof. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. Oh, hello. Hello. Hiding. Like a pervert. There we go. Careful now. Now this, I believe, will open up a load of, uh, uh, well, at least a door over there. And let an army of dickwads come marching through. Well, now we've destroyed your precious base. Not looking so good, are you? Huh? Huh? Yes. Ah, oh, the spew level three is just so freaking good. It's so satisfying to use. Uh, now, did we even check behind here, actually? Yeah, well, there's nothing here. That's unfortunate. Well, that's that little escapade done. Actually, you know, these missions are quite a chunk shorter than I remember. Maybe it's just because, you know, when I was a lot younger. When did the Xbox come? I don't know, what, 2000? This, this was 2003. Yes, so I would have just left secondary school. Uh, when this, yeah, because I left in 2002. 
Uh, it's all coming back to me. Wow, i actually older than I thought, to be honest. So would that be? That'd be about 15, 16, I suppose. But yeah, these levels seemed a lot bigger back then. They really did. Alrighty. That's that one done. Destroy the comm center. Ah, we did miss a chip. Bugger. Oh, and if you're wondering how many chips there are, there's a lot. There's like over 200 of them. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. Um, Let's continue. Let's do another one. Ho oh, God, hold your ground. Yeah, this is a short one anyway, so. Oh, this one's a ball ache. I'll warn you. Yeah, we got, yeah, we got to hold off the robo turds, and we have this gun. We have to survive for five minutes here. Uh, yeah, that's not as easy as it sounds. If you let just one enemy through, game over, man. Uh, I can't remember if we get any kind of um, checkpoints or anything. It starts off ludicrously easy, as you'd imagine, but gets pretty bloody naughty as it goes on. So, you'll forgive me if I don't ease up on both triggers until the job is done. Now, we do have these massive silos here that we can use in a last-ditch effort. But, yeah, uh, it does get pretty hairy. And those silos seem to be very hit and miss. Sometimes they go up really quickly and do crazy amounts of damage. Other times they just straight up don't seem to do much, you know? Very strange. This game is very uh, hit and miss when it comes to how damage and hit detection is to, uh, at least carried out. Now, luckily, they can only come from three areas, which seems pretty easy to start off with. But when you realize they can come from all three areas at once. Oh, and also they have aircraft as well. Not many, but they have enough. And again, even if one aircraft get... Oh, God, don't want to destroy that. If just one aircraft slips the net... This does remind me a little bit of Hidden and Dangerous. Man, what a weird-ass game that was. That's a hidden gem. Absolute hidden gem. Shame we never got a sequel to that game. You don't get games like that very often either. I mean... <sighs> Would you even? It, it's kind of. It reminds me of something like Dark Crystal. It's such a weird, bizarre, random ass effort of a game. You know, it happens in uh, you know the film industry fairly often. You find these just bizarre collections of strange ideas. Um, you know, but rarely do you find it in a game that has done so well. I mean, you get terrible games. You, you get stuff like Alone in the Dark on the 360. But that's just a terrible game. Also, these guys are quite hard to shoot down. Yep. Oh, man. We may have fumbled. We may have fumbled. Now we're all right. We're all right. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. Okay. We're fine. You will hear that alarm go off if they get too close to the base. I don't know if that actually sounds for aircraft or if it is just uh, the rats that make that sound. Oh god. Oh god. Get out of here. Luckily this gun does get more accurate the closer the enemies get. So, you know, there is that. Although it's not much of a comfort, I'll be honest. Now once you get down to like one minute things start really heating up. 
Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I actually have a feeling when you get down to one minute, you get a checkpoint, thinking about it. But I'm not 100% sure. I remember last time I tested this, I lost when I had six seconds left. Kind of brutal. Now, also, when you fire this thing up at the sky, it almost looks like a flat gun. Which, I actually quite like that. Yeah, so here we go. Final wave. Things are about to get a little bit crazy. Definitely want to keep making sure you're firing those rockets. Or grenades, or whatever the hell they are, at all times. Because you'll be surprised at how often that saves your ass. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Now those grenades that are just volleying, volleying everywhere are helping us out quite a bit. Oh, that was lucky. That was very lucky. Right, we're okay. Now remember, if this guy gets across, we've, we're hosed. Ah, oh, shit. See what I mean? See what I mean? If you just leave one go, you're fucked. Okay, so yeah, so you do get a you do get a um, checkpoint on wave three. So small mercies and all that, I guess. Kind of a punishing turret section, to be honest. Ah, uh, we got all of our big explodey pod things back as well, gas canisters or whatever the fuck they're supposed to be. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Need to take this thing out. Oh, Jesus. That's as close as it gets, guys. Okay, we're good? We're good. We're good. 26 seconds left. We know there's another flyer that comes in at some point. 19 seconds. Oh, God. I wish this gun had some accuracy to it. That's fine. That's fine. Let's keep volleying all of these grenades. See, they do help. They help way more than you think. Alright, not bad. Oh, that was good. Oh, yeah. That's the hit of the whole fruit right there. We good? We good? Oh, God, hello. Didn't even see him there. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, that one's quite intense. But luckily, having that checkpoint there really <laughs> kind of evens it out just a little bit. Hey, we got the speed chip earned. Uh, I completed that two seconds faster than when I was testing this yesterday. Not bad. Happy with that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.